What's up, Davis 314 family? This is going to be a quick little vloggy vlog. So, of course, um, I'm no longer diabetic. Of course, medicine and exercise help that. Glory be to God. Um, however, I struggle with um, low iron and um, I need vitamin D and my cholesterol is high. So, lately, my heart has been fluttering. Um, so, I went to the doctor, of course, and she said it's because I'm not taking my medications properly. Because sometimes I don't feel like taking my meds because I feel like I just want to be free. <laughs> she said, that's fine and dandy, but your um, your iron is the reason why your heart is fluttering. So, I'm going to need you to take that. And I said, say less. And then, of course, I've been told for years my cholesterol is so high. So, um, of course, I went to Whole Food Market to try to just get some foods that are good to lower cholesterol. So let's get into this quick little haul. And I'm kind of let you all know my plan for the food. Okay, so I don't eat cereal, but I know Woody eats cereal. So I tried to get some um, organic whole grain cereal. I did get the the Annie's um, graham crackers, some bananas, because I plan to do um, bananas in my oatmeal. I got apples, so I plan to do some apples in my oatmeal. I also plan to do apples dipped in peanut butter with the sunflower kernels. That's a great snack I used to eat. I bought some bell peppers so I could try to make my own chipotle bowl with some whole grain rice since they said that whole grain rice is good. Um, I bought Woody. See, Woody likes snacks, so I'm just trying to find some healthier snacks. So, these um, Back to Nature Fudge Mint Cookies are fire. I actually eat these. Um, these are like the Girl Scout type cookies. I don't like oatmeal, y'all. Yeah. Okay? But they keep saying oatmeal is good to lower your cholesterol. So, I got this with, probiotic, with prebiotic fiber superfood oatmeal. We'll see. We shall see. Um, also, these Back to Nature peanut butter cookies are fire. I bought some kiwi because I need some more fruit. Um, I already told you all what I'm doing with the sunflower kernels. I bought some grapes. And I bought these plant-based pink Himalayan long crackers. I would like to put some cream cheese and lunch meat on it um, as a nice snack. I bought this thick-cut cold smoked salmon. I'm, I really don't like salmon, but if I saute this like quick, like sear it on the stove real quick and put it over a salad or put it in my chipotle bowl that i'm going to make i think that should do me in um i bought some chicken tiki which is paleo i could put this over some whole grain rice um i bought this korean barbecue style chicken i'm gonna put that over some whole grain rice that's paleo too what do you like macaroni bowls so these are the chickpea ones I bought organic maple syrup because they say that's good over some oatmeal. Thousand Island dressing for if I make me a sandwich. Um, black beans for my Chipotle bowl. So yeah, Mike and I went to this beautiful spa in Chicago. We wasn't vlogging back then, so you don't. Know, there's no footage on it, but we went to this spa called Aries, Aries Spa, I think. Okay, yeah, I found it. It's called Air Ancient Baths. And this is the location in Chicago. And y'all yeah, see it has like the underground pools. Um, it's a bathhouse. It was so beautiful, y'all. Look at it. It was such a vibe. And we had a couple's massage first. Then you could take like a soft scrub um, when you leave. So yes, that's the place. Make sure you all check it out in Chicago Air Agent Baths. They are located in New York, Chicago, London, Copenhagen, Barcelona, Seville, Amiria, and Villamines. I don't know what that is. Okay, so now I need to show y'all the Hot Springs, Arkansas bathhouse I was telling you all about. One second. So the bathhouse we went to in Hot Springs, Arkansas is called Quapai Quapai Bath and Spa. 
and it was a vibe so it's basically a mineral infused uh bath um using water from the hot springs that they have in hot spring arkansas it was a vibe i mean after that bath we were so tired um i heard that a lot of um athletes go there for a bath so it's it's a really good experience you all should check it out okay but anyway, at the end of that spa, they gave us some juice. And this reminds me of the juice that they gave us. Cold pressed. You all see it has cabbage, pear, pineapple, parsley, mint, and ginger root. Usually I juice myself because we do have a $500 juicer that we love. The Nami, the Nami J2 juicer. Um, so yeah. Anyway. So I've been craving noodles lately. So I bought the garlicky veggie rice ramen noodle. Um, in my head, these are healthier than the other ones. <laughs> so 180 calories. I'm definitely eating in a calorie deficit right now. So that is a lot of carbs. It's only two grams of protein. So actually it's not that good. It does have some fiber, which I do like, but it is organic brown rice noodle that they're using. So I got that, and then this looked good. Maybe because I haven't eaten anything, it's not good to go shopping on an empty stomach. Yeah, I know I eat at 5 o'clock, but anyway. Um, I got this spicy noodle, soy garlic. 32 carbs, 180 calories, not bad. One gram of fiber, seven grams of protein. That's what made me get that. That's some good protein right there. Um, I'm about to start um, making sure I get my protein because I've hit a stall in my weight loss. And I think it's because I'm not getting enough protein. So I did buy some Applegate lunch meat. I love Applegate. So I got honey and maple turkey breast. No antibiotics. Okay, then I got these blueberry protein waffles. 10 grams of protein. Baby, that's some good protein. Um, I really don't eat waffles. I really don't eat much food, period, these days. But if I need some protein, I'm going to get these. Because I don't always want meat. Um... For two waffles, it's 220 calories. Um, 24 grams of carb for two waffles. Baby, that's good. Three grams of fiber, kind of low. Uh, 10 grams of protein. I think that's really good. I'm surprised the carbs are so low. Hmm, I don't know. Either way it go. I got these really for Woody, but I may eat them if I need to. It's the cream cheese. It's a non-dairy alternative. It's vegan. So I'm going to put this on these whole wheat thin slice sandwich buns. One is 100 calorie, 19 carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 2 grams of total sugar, 4 grams of protein. So they say you can make pizza, burgers, and paninis out of these. Um, chopped kale. All greens is good for, you know, weight loss and for um, other health issues. So, of course, I got me some chopped kale. Got some cucumber, green pepper. Um, you know, I love Applegate stuff. So these chicken maple breakfast sausage patties. I don't know if I eat them or I don't know if they will go to waste. I buy a lot of stuff and don't eat it because I don't eat much. These, day, these days <laughs> I bought these just because they were already separated out for we're on a run really would he need everything that's kind of pre-portioned because he will overdo it y'all if I ain't watching him strawberries berries raspberries because they said berries is good for people with cholesterol issues Carolina Key we did it boo we got it <laughs> Look, I want to say, we did it, Joe. We did it. We did it, Joe. I did it, Carolina. Carolina Key. I got the Waterloo pineapple because I know you get a uh, watermelon. They didn't have it. And I got the watermelon peach. I don't know if you all watch the Patrice Denise. She's on her weight loss journey as well. And she's um, sharing it with us. Uh, very inspirational. Um, she has a lot on her plate, I feel. So God bless her. And spreading the good news. 
which is what we all should be doing, spreading the good news. Anyway, I see that she also, um, in one of her vlogs I just watched last night, she went about the the Waterloo uh, drinks too because of Carolina Key. Carolina Key, she gonna need, you need sponsorship at this point. And I was going out there to get these drinks. Girl, it better be good. <laughs> I'll try to remember to let you know if I like it or not. I haven't, I only been really drinking water and, um, yeah, I know I'd only drink water and then sometimes, and of course my coffee, but I mix my water with protein water, which is what they give people who, I think if you have bariatric surgery, you're supposed to drink this water and I bought it, um, just cause I thought it was good since they could drink it. I should be able to drink it. I haven't had bariatric surgery though. I drink my water and I mix it with this and it's so good. It has electrolytes, um, 15 grams of protein. So I mix this, my regular water, my water. So whenever y'all see me on my vlogs drinking out of this, that's what's in here. It's water mixed with protein water just to give me a little, a little something, a little razzle dazzle because y'all know I don't eat anything until like five o'clock. So I might just want that little flavor, you know, a little flavor. Anyway, this was a quick vlog. Uh, I know Carolina be calling her vlogs raggedy now. I feel like this is truly a raggedy vlog because this is literally all I'm coming on here to give y'all. Thank you all for checking out my quick haul and learning about Quapa Spa and Bath and Air Spa and Bath in Chicago. Um, check those two places out. It was a vibe, for real. Um, pray for us, or pray for me. No, pray for my family and our health. Um, we are trying over here. And I know you all are trying in your households as well. And you know, all we could do is take it minute by minute, second by second. I'm, I'm not even going to say day by day. <laughs> all we could do is take it minute by minute and just try to uh, live a healthier life, make healthier decisions and it's not always easy because a lot of these unhealthy things have been introduced to us already so it's hard to shake something that your body and that you are accustomed to and used to so um, our taste buds was developed a long time ago so um, give yourself a break you know just try your best but try for real try your best but try for real um, and we are over here trying for real, so please keep us in your prayers. Um, I, my heart fluttering scared me, period, like it scared me. And it started last week when I was at the gym and I was jumping rope. My heart started fluttering. And when I was on the plane coming back from Phoenix, Arizona, my heart was fluttering. And then today, as soon as I left out of her office, my heart was fluttering. I said, in the name of Jesus, only you know, Lord, and you can heal me you have the power you know god is the author and the finisher you know uh, god said if we ask we shall receive baby and i've asked for good health wealth longevity travel and some more stuff so come through lord <laughs> all right i love y'all peace out